Jerry Springer reading his will and he left everything to his secret black kids. And it is still a drop in the bucket of the immeasurable amount of pain I have caused each of you. My wife learned of your arrival, Misha, and demanded that I cut you off completely. I tried to reason with her, but she threatened to expose my infidelity and my illegitimate children. And I was such a coward. I'm a coward even now for making this video instead of making the effort to meet you. I am ashamed and disappointed in myself. I didn't know how to stand to my truth and stand up to my wife. I did, however, manage to stand up for you, John and Misha. While Joan kept me away from you with the threat of exposure, she did not keep me from providing for you. You see, I told her that if I had to accept a life without you, she would not get a red cent of my fortune and that you would be named equally in my will in the event of my passing. But with everything going on in the world right now, I realize that I have to go a step further. Jordan, Megan, I leave our home here in New York, in New Orleans to you, to you to do with whatever you want. The rest of my estate, my properties in Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, my bank accounts, investment portfolios, all liquid and intangible assets, everything, all of it will go to my children, John and Misha. Girls, all your life, I've been telling you to make your millions and I hope you have. If not, you can always sell the house and split the profit. But my entire estate, um, my entire estate belongs to John and Misha, and it is up to them to do with it what they will. It is truly the least I can do, as I and this country have failed you. And hopefully one day, America will do what's right as well. That's it, Brad. My father? What a prick! Um, unbelievable. Um, this is a lot to process. <laughs> I guess black lives really do matter. Seems so, Miss Williams. Seems so. Let's get.